Hello YouTube, Skatem here, and welcome back to the Minecraft video, and today we have the Flush Automatic Anvil Replacer. And it is fully automatic, you don't have to do anything except when you break that anvil and use its last durability up, it will automatically replace for you. Now this machine will hold 8 anvils for you, um, so you, you might have to put a trap door, door or something down to replace the anvils after a while, but that will last you quite a large quite a large amount of time so if we want to use this thing all we have to do is break this anvil and as you can see a new one will come up for us and I didn't get a very good view for you guys but you can see how it works we have the sign block pushing it up now I can you know this redstone is quite a bit messy but you have to get it down there in just zero ticks or one tick uh, we had to get that down there fast so that is why the redstone looks a little messy let's crack straight on with how to build this so I've broken this build down into four sections, as you can see they are color coded right here. So we're going to start with the first one, which is the red section. And to build it, you're going to need exactly what I have in my inventory, um, maybe some extra blocks uh, to build it. <laughs> so you can have some space to build if you're doing it in survival. But anyways, um, also you can use another sticky piston for this block. It, this is going to be the one that's going to be facing up under your uh, anvil, so whatever piston or stick piston you want to use there either will work but we're going to place that down and then a few blocks away we're going to put this stick piston so when it's extended it will be touching this then off of that we're going to go down a block and go just like so next we're going to put down two repeaters just like this at max ticks and then we're going to put two pieces of redstone we're then going to put a redstone uh, torch here. Make sure you don't forget that one. That one's a little tricky. Um, and then we're going to place a sticky piston there and a block here. Next, you're going to place a block in between these two and place, oops, sorry, a block next to that one. Almost messed that up. And place a redstone torch uh, back there. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take your block, you're going to place it right there, and you're going to see this piston will power up. Next, you're going to take another sticky piston, your third and last one, place it there, put down a piece of another red stained clay or whatever block you're using, and then you will take two blocks and connect it up like so, and you should have this little U shape. Next, you're going to put a redstone torch right under that guy and place um, a repeater right here, and you will see this is powered. Um, Right click it once so you get an extra tick in there and then just place one last piece of redstone right there and it should all be set up. Um, so this is a piston bud switch. So any way to test that is just update this piston. So if we put a block here, we should see it swing back and move forward. Break that block, swing back and move forward and we have it working. Just a few quick things I forgot to mention is that the anvils do not lose durability. So if we break this, new anvils get pushed around, new anvils get set up. We lose no durability on our anvils and we can use it and they will not break at all from falling because they're just falling one block. Uh, the second thing is it's really easy to reload. So once we lose a few anvils right here, all you have to do is either place an anvil on top or just place an anvil right on the side of this block to drop them down. Oh, I just realized that I messed up something again. When we put this thing to only two ticks, you're actually supposed to max that, max that out. So there we go. Just fix that. Sorry about that. But we're going to get back onto the stuff. I guess you guys need to know how uh, deep this goes if you are building it in your survival base or whatever. Um, so what you are doing is you're going down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. Yep, seven blocks from the bottom of your update piston. Placing down your slime block, placing down your sticky piston under that, and that will be the lowest block. So that would be seven, eight, nine, and then and eleven. So twelve blocks down from your anvil. Next, for the else section, you're going to go to this side, so right where this is, um, we're going to go to this side of the red thing, and right at this redstone piece of redstone dust, we're going to put a torch on the side, and that should power off. Um, that might be a little tricky to find. But from that, we have eight yellowstone clay and eight redstone, and we're going to do exactly that. We're going to go down a block from there, and a block from there, and we are then going to start rotating around. Um, just to bring the redstone down and we get back to this direction we're going to go down another block and end up right here and that should be a one two three four five six seven eight yes that is and that is the yellow section that is bringing our redstone down to the next section 
Section, section, section. I've got to think of another word. But next section we are doing is the green one. So what you're going to do is you're going to place a, piece, a green block or whatever block you are deciding to use. You're going to put down a repeater. Then you're going to put down, oops, a piston with a block on top of it. And then we're going to place down another repeater. You're going to hit that once to bring it back a tick and then we're going to place a block off of that and that is going to be going into our um, machine. Now if you're wondering what this does, if we just take this out, um, this is going to act to shorten the pulse so you can see that fires up and down really fast. Anyways, if that is all you want, one Hit one, uh, just one end veil to replace your thing. You are done. You don't need to add this pink section. But if you want five, six, or up to eight more anvils, um, that'll help you uh, uh, to replace your first anvil. Sorry, I'm having trouble with words today. Uh, then you will build this pink section. So we're going to have blocks coming off of here, and it's probably easier to do this part first. So what's going to happen is we're going to place a piston up facing upwards like so and then around the side um, we're gonna have a piston oops not powering that piston we're gonna have a piston facing in and this is gonna be your reloading mechanism so to do that we're gonna go a block away we're gonna put down a redstone torch and then from that redstone torch we're gonna go around and place down our repeaters so this repeater is gonna be set you're gonna right click it twice and then from here um, you have to go up a bit somehow messed up. I'll be right back. Nope, it is all good. I was just thinking about it wrong. All you have to do is go like this. You just need a bit more pieces of redstone dust. Sorry about that. I'm making a lot of mistakes today, but you know, it's all good. It's all going to work out. Uh, you're going to place down a max powered red or max tick uh, repeater right there, and that is all good. So all we have to do get my inventory cleared out a bit and our last piece is grabbing our anvils so grab your anvils and you can start placing them down um, and then all we have to do is update this block there we go we got our anvil so now we just have to break our anvil and we've got it working so there you go you've got your flush automatic anvil replacer if you liked my video despite my word messing ups and a few little mishaps, please like the video. If you really enjoyed it, then make sure to subscribe. But this has been Skatem, and I'll see myself out.